Hey everyone, Trick here, and uh, this is a Red Star Wing tutorial uh, on how to do it and what it is, and in general, I'm going to talk about Red Star Wing. So, um, don't mind that I'm starting with Crown of Hatred, it's just an advanced strategy that you can use. Uh, you really don't need it, and you really don't uh, need the Golden, uh, golden Ranch either. So actually what uh, Red Star Wing is, uh, in the most usual case, you would go to the 3-2 Vault, take Crown of Destiny to avoid leveling up until you reach 5-2, and then uh, that makes it so that you get a free mutation from Crown of Destiny. While, um, because you didn't level up, it didn't, doesn't really... Um, limits your choices on the next mutation selection. Um, this strat is somewhat advanced in the sense that it's only for players who can um, reach loop 2 somewhat consistently and want to get a better PB. You really don't have to worry about this um, if you're new to the game, or just starting out, or you don't really take daily seriously. Um, yeah, this strat is mostly for uh, those people who are taking the daily seriously, and for those who want to get a better PB. Because in general, what this strat is useful for is to get an additional mutation. If you just level to Ultra, you would get 8 mutations, but this way, uh, taking Crown of Destiny makes it so that you can get 9. And on a very high level gameplay, it's very useful to have actually 9 mutations instead of 8. Um, and it's not only that, it's um, getting a plus mutation you couldn't get. Oh god, this is actually re really good. So, I'm going to pause here a bit. I'm going to do the destiny abuse here. Uh, I'm going to take trigger fingers and crown of destiny is going to give me uh, strong spirits because it's the first mutation that I'm seeing in this set. Crown of Destiny always gives you the leftmost mutation of the last scene set. Also, I'm relatively high on level 5, um, which makes it um, much harder to actually do the rest starving. This is going to be a slow session. But um, it's okay, um, this might be a bit better way to showcase what it's uh, Red Starving. What I'm doing right now is standing in a corner, because if you're uh, standing in a corner, Reds can't really get to you. Also, there is a toxic probe over there, which should be that. And it's very important to know about this thread that you can just stand in a corner and push in that direction to not collect the reds. You have to walk into the corner, not just stand actually. Uh, you will collect some reds if you're not walking into the corner. So. Crown of Hatred actually makes it much harder now to do this. Um, but, I mean, I've red starved a lot, so this handicap should be okay for me. It's just going to take a while. Now, it's important to locate the Crown Vault and open it up um, if you can, because the Crown Vault is going to suck the rats in. Okay, so I have the crown world open now. Also, 
Uh, I'm doing it slightly badly because I'm close to a very low health. And let's open up the vault and exit the level. Uh, Golden Wrench actually saved me there. Sometimes it's good if you have a melee weapon for Red Star Ring, although you really don't need it. And in my opinion, it's somewhat harder to do it with a melee weapon. It's easier to stand in a corner, but much easier to run out of ammo. Did I actually take run of the crown hold? I don't remember. Well, let's see. So I'm going to take Crown of Destiny here, and I'm going to get uh, Strong Spirits. Alright. And now I just have to clean uh, up these levels without dying and collecting many reds. The Toxic Crossbow is a very good weapon for this. Um, generally the best early game weapons for this. Um, are the crossbow, assault rifle, toxic crossbow. Although, obviously, be careful with the toxic crossbow because <laughs> you can easily just kill yourself with it as well. There is also a reason why I'm playing eyes, which I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to showcase in this video. I should be able to. The sniper is probably behind Big Dog. So it's like whatever. Um, three three where you fight Baker. It's actually important that you try and leave one enemy alive because Big Dog drops a lot of reds, and sometimes the portal opens in a way that um, <clears throat> it's going to sack all the reds um, into the portal. So you would end up collecting them and throwing your red star. This is somewhat of a dangerous strategy to do because if you level up, you're going to get a mutation that you uh, might not really want. Um, another important part of <coughs> red starving is a more preservation for which I can do this. You, um, you, how telekinesis works is that it only attracts stuff that's on the screen, so you can move the screen in a way that only the ammo could be on the screen and attract it to yourself. That's something that only I can do, and I'm not going to abuse it much. Uh, I just wanted to showcase that, and I did it there. So, uh, when you're red starving, you would want to collect ammo eventually. <coughs> you should try and do it in a way that you don't collect many reds. Um, yeah, and it's not that hard to do, it's just you kind of have to sacrifice uh, collecting some reds for actually getting ammo. Uh, the biggest problem some people do is that they are not collecting enough ammo, so I just collected their so, getting Slugger is also a really good weapon for a starving. Basically, any more efficient weapon that's precise as well is a good red starving weapon. I'm not going to take it too because um, the toxic crossbow is going to be more than enough, and I like the auto frame shotgun. Although. It's generally advised to take the Gatlin Slugger in this case. It's just a weapon preference I have. I can do this here and collect this ammo without uh, collecting many rats. 
it's something that ice can do and in this case I would collect this ammo as any other regular character because um, that's not many rads. Snowbots generally don't drop many rads and they usually drop an ammo pack. Oops, I got toxic crossbow. Now health is also an important factor so I'm going to collect that health. And an energy screwdriver, I'm going to... <laughs> okay, this game is trolling me right now because it's giving me really good weapons that are not for red star ring. I'm going to take the plasma cannon as well because that's the second best crowd control weapon. So on this level, I'm already at 5-2. You would want to locate the vault. Um, what I'm doing here is somewhat risky. Okay, I've located the vault and now I just want to kill enough enemies so that the vault gets charged. It's already charged. So you can either clear the level somewhat or just rush the vault. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do first. Yeah, I should probably just rush the vault and die in the process of doing so. Okay, I didn't die, which is very lucky. So I'm in the vault, uh, take up Crown of Destiny and uh, finish Red Starving. Be careful that when you finish Red Starving you would have the little hunter fight, which you have to be prepared for, either with enough ammo or enough health. Sometimes you can farm the world guardians to get more ammo, and also a big uh, problem is usually the weapon choice, because the we um, red starving weapons are not that good against the little hunter. Um, that's not actually die. I got it very close there. I might cut this from the video. But yeah, basically that's it. Uh, I'm just going to see what type of mutations I'm going to get in this set because this is starting off as a very good set. This is basically a full meta set. Um, and I might get really lucky and do this on my first attempt and get a very good set. So I get arms, which is basically... <laughs> which is basically the best mutation you could hope for. So this is already a nice set that I would run out no matter what. Because for meta you would need, depending on your level, um, you would need at least four or five mutations. It's easier if you get all five of those, and I got screwed back. And the five of those are exactly these. You don't necessarily need stress. Uh, I'm not counting last week here. You don't necessarily need uh, stress, but you would want to have these at least. Uh, Trigger fingers for spamming the SBC, long arms for uh, upgrading the Ultra Shovel, and Rhino Screen and Strong Spirit are for safety. Um, some people can play this game without taking Rhino Skin and taking other mutations, but I find it very hard and I wouldn't uh, suggest it. It's a very good idea to always have Rhino Skin. So I guess I can use this time to actually talk when you should start doing press starting strats and what level you should be. Because uh, set grinding and resetting for sets is not really something that you should do if you're just starting off with this game. I've already mentioned that you should probably aim for loop 3, 
and be somewhat consistent on uh, reaching loot 2 if you want to do this. Otherwise it would be just a waste of time. Because see, I'm at 14 minutes reaching strong 1. Usually I would have between 9 and 10 minutes when I get to this point. So I wasted 4 minutes just to get bomb classification. Although I got strong spirit which is <laughs> like one of the best additional mutations you can get. And still... When you're just starting off, you don't necessarily need full meta. Um, I guess maybe I should describe what full meta is, so I'm going to take second stomach here instead of scary face, maybe? Oh, no, I'm going to take scary face. I really want to get a healing mutation, but I have two more chances, and scarier face is really good. And I would run Bloodlust, that's my basic um, reasoning for this choice. Well, it can be argued which one is better on eyes. And let's just kill the man. I didn't succeed in killing the man. Well, there. This is why you want a plasma cannon or super plasma cannon because it's just insane for crowd control. And I'm kind of a melee. I'm kind of reliant on melee, which is a bad habit I have. Although I can play this game well enough that I can reach loop 2. Even loot 3 um, with just um, range weapons. Oops. Oh, that was a bit scary for some time. So, this is a really bad set I'm going to take. <laughs> oh my god, this is the second worst set you can get, technically. Well, I'm going to take Boiling, boiling Wings because that's the most useful for meta. And then take Crown of Blood. So I'm not sure how exciting this part is for people who just want to know about Red Starving. I guess this is a longer part. I just want to showcase the full set I'm going to get. And no matter what happens, I'm going to play this set out. Like, um. The aim of set grinding and Crown of Destiny is get in the set that I just got now. <laughs> in this case, um, it's a really. A successful tutorial video. Because I got a very lucky thing. Oh god, that bug gator was kind of bad. Okay. And let's regain some ammo. Oops. That was dangerous. <laughs> See, I'm almost dying in every part of this game. It's... Uh, everyone is dying in this game. So don't worry if you die a lot. Toxic Launcher I'm going to take just to... <laughs> spam the level and actually enter Pizza Sewers. Because it's a sewer is a secret area and helps you get more kills. Also increases the difficulty counter, which in some cases results in more enemies. In some cases, how the level generation works, it's actually making you get less enemies. 
it's a big meme in the community and you generally should aim for doing this meme because it's um, changing up the set grinding and boring parts of the game. Oops. I really don't like runs, so I'm just destroying one. And let's see. So I'm just going to uh, play this until we can go to see what I get. Although I'm going to play this sets out on my robot. But probably ends a video. Because that's the part. Uh, which is relevant to the topic. And uh, let's go. You could take the blood hammer, <laughs> which is a funny challenge you can do. Some people like the blood hammer more than the consumer. Personally, I don't. Especially not with brain face and stuff like that. Oh, hi. Generally, you don't want to aim at the shielders when firing the SPC because of the reflection. I'm usually... I know I'm firing at the vamp, so it will cancel out most projectiles, so shielders get less chances to reflect my stuff at me. Hammer, that's the false prophet. Sadly, I'm going to take it. It's not a good weapon. It's it's the best bad weapon in the game, I would say. And I get second stomach back. Uh, also, I got heavy hearts which you would usually want to avoid. You only get heavy hearts and then you have three weapon specifications, which I do have now, because I have uh, long arms, boiling wings, and laser brain. So anyway, that's my full set of this video. Uh, this is actually very cool, close to the sets I gotten my PB with. Uh, my PB set only had uh, rabbit's paw over um, boiling wings here. But it was the exact same set. So I think that's it for me and uh, thanks for watching this video so far. I'm going to kill Little Hunter. And thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!